My point is we cannot be talking about accessing nuclear technology and nuclear energy or the use of nuclear sources without going through what those founding fathers like Kruma have set for. Ghana is doing so. I want the rest of Africa to do the same thing. I want, for instance, when I ask those uh, conference participants, is anybody visiting the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission? They say no. It would have been good for them to see how Ghana use nuclear energy, nuclear technology for agriculture, uh, the use of nuclear sources for cancer therapy, and then where Ghana has a vision to go, the use of nuclear energy that Ghana is doing within the context of ECOWAS, which should be commended. See uh, this commission active in Vienna with the International Atomic Energy Commission, and at the same time being in line with the set of treaties uh, that govern uh, the access to nuclear technology and nuclear energy, including the Penindaba Treaty, as we mentioned, that make Africa a nuclear weapon free zone, but a zone that seek the use of nuclear technology and nuclear energy. I think that the Commission will make sure that they follow what the government is expecting to do. Because you have a vision, a vision that hasn't started today, and I think the government, and uh, when I listen to uh, your president and how Pan-Africanism is important for him and for Ghana, I think that Ghana would want to lead this issue in a way by they serve not only Ghana but the region and then serve Africa the best way possible. And I think the government should be, and the Ghana should be commended for that.